ओके नमो वित्रागाय नमो वित्रागाय नमो अरिहंताणम नमो अरिहंताणम नमो सिद्धाणम नमो सिद्धाणम नमो आयरियाणम नमो 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 ऐसो पंचन मुक्कारो Hey Satchidan how is everybody today Good Okay I don't know who's going to participate or not but anyway uh let's look at the homework what was the homework Shil The homework was uh, Shil uh, The homework was to say where, where we may of uh, where we broke the code of conduct again Okay did you post your homework Did, did you post Yeah You did? Chill. I posted mine. Okay, what was uh, what did you violate? I I broke the first and fifth code of conduct. What happened? Just just loudly bold the please. Oh uh, yeah, uh, so me and my friend were playing games, but then uh we got into uh, an argument and then we started calling each other bad and we started saying swear words. so then we both realized our mistake and then i figured out we uh we i broke the fourth and the fifth code of conduct and then we both apologized to each other so finally you brought uh, made it up yeah okay how about you kush yeah so i violated the seventh code of conduct so yesterday i was eating dinner no two days ago i was eating dinner with my mom and like my family and she made a sweet But I didn't like it, so I didn't eat it. And I said, I told my mom I didn't like it. After that, she became like sad that she spent so much time, and yeah, I still didn't like it. So then after that, I did pratika man to my mom, and then the next day I ate it at lunch. Okay, Yashwi, did you didn't do homework? Did you do homework, Yashwi? Yeah, I posted it. Sorry, Jyoti, tell me, please. Um, I. I posted it but I said I violated the first code of conduct because um I like like a girl I used to be friends with like I thought bad about her and stuff so then I did Patrick go on about it and like apologize and ask for forgiveness. Okay, the mocks there? Is mocks there? Yeah. Mocks did you do your homework? Uh I told you I should put down what I told her to. I, I don't you. have WhatsApp on my thing or whatever it's called. Okay, can you tell us something? Yes, we did. You post it? No, you didn't tell me to post anything. Yes, I did. What did you do? Did you did you quarrel with your sister? Uh, I've got an argument with my sister. I cannot hear. Did you quarrel with your sister? Yeah. Okay, that's why I think something. Did you talk nicely to all the seven days with your mama? Yeah, but oh. now with my sister. All the time? Oh, sometimes me and yes, we don't talk nicely to each other. Okay. How about papa? Yeah, I talk nice to my dad. How about friends? Yeah. You were an angel. You were an angel all week. No, well, sometimes when I'm playing my Xbox, um, I 
Me and my friends get in an argument of who's better and who's worse in this game that we play. Yeah, this all we need to document. So, you know, what the purpose is, we're trying to find where our weaknesses are, where we are not doing properly for the others. Agna, so then we have to then repent and say, I want to do it again, right? So, Kush. Yeah. Besides, yesterday you were an angel all seven days? No, I was angry um, sometimes. So, how come you don't uh, jot it down? How come you only could one. talk about one item? I only wrote one thing, that's why. I can write more. Yeah, you don't have to explain it, but you can say, I become angry. I didn't talk properly. Or something like that, you know? Another so time was like when, so my dad sometimes get angry at me, but whenever my brother does the same thing, he doesn't get angry at him, so I got angry. But then after a while, I realized that since he's bigger, he doesn't do the exact same mistakes as me. And that's why. No, that is very good. You guys are doing extremely well when you do something wrong and realize it. Shil, how about you? You've been an angel all week? Wait, oh, what did you say? I could hear you there. You've been an angel. You just cited one incident. So other than that, you were an angel all week? Oh... Uh... Sometimes I didn't like the food, so I didn't. Uh, I decided not to. I, I decided to eat less. Yeah. So you have to jot down. We don't want ex well, one paragraph, but you have to jot down all the points where you're missing on the seven chord of a uh, nine chord of panda. You know. Okay. How about uh, Yashwi? Yashwi Angel. Okay. They're yeah. all muted. Were you an angel all week? No, I, um, I mean, I argue with my brother. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I usually just argue with my brother. Yeah. So the, I think the main purpose is to be aware what we are doing through the nine code of conduct. And if, there's, if you miss something, we ask for repentance, mm -hmm. okay? So we'll yeah. continue with the homework and then just jot down. You don't have to write a paragraph on one incident, but write different, different yeah. points. That way we'll, uh, and why are we doing all this stuff? We can know the mistakes that we make and then next time we won't make the same mistakes again. Exactly. And why do we want to and do this? So that we can become par excellent, like Dada Bhagwan. Okay. So, I think we all want to become like Dada Bhagwan, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Deepak Dada, what is the real importance of nine code of conduct and keeping aware of it in relation with our behavior? See, it is like someone who is driving. He knows the rules very clear in his mind. So... Anytime he encounters any of those situations where he is likely to break that rule, he won't break that rule because he, he tingles in his mind that, hey, this is wrong. You cannot do it. And still, if he does it or she does it, then the obvious thing is if there is no police around, then you, you are saved. But if there is a police around, then you will be getting a ticket. Correct? Yeah. In the same way, nine code of conduct, it keeps us in vigilance and we become very observant about what we are doing. And wherever we are going wrong or about to go wrong, then it will alert us inside. And by chance, if you have committed that mistake, then that bell will ring inside and tell you this is wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong, and it will help you correct yourself. The idea is 
you argue with your brother, you argue with your sister, you do anything uh, inappropriate with any of your relation, they feel hurt. And when someone is hurt, it is going to come back to you. And when it comes back to you, you don't like it. But when you are on the giving side, then you don't realize that. But with the nine code of conduct in your mind, even if you are just doing it for the sake of doing or like, like just for fun, but if the other person is not taking it positively or he is, or she is feeling bad, then that's not right. Because if someone is getting hurt by your dealing, then it is going to come back to you. And when it comes back to you, I'm sure you won't like it. So the idea is every time you go wrong, you commit any mistake, you become vigilant, you become aware of that mistake and correct yourself. And gradually when you keep correcting like this, then all those negativities, those uh, loose behavior, it will go from you and you will become a perfect person which we all want to become like Dara Bhagwan. Okay. Okay. Why, yeah. uh, why do we want to be become like Dara Bhagwan? See, everyone has a role model in the life. Someone wants to become like some scientist, like some actor, like some sports person, like some celebrity, something like that. And we have noticed that everyone bows down to Dada Bhagwan. Everyone bows down to Simandra Swami Bhagwan. We have not seen Simandra Swami Bhagwan, but at least we know much about Dada Bhagwan. That there must be something really good in Dada Bhagwan that everyone accepts him, everyone bows to him. So that becomes, he naturally becomes our role model that yes, I want to become like Dada Bhagwan, perfect person like Dada Bhagwan, pure person like Dada Bhagwan. All these impurities, all these imperfections, they are cause of our suffering. And we, are, we don't want to suffer. No, does anybody want to suffer? Nobody wants to suffer. No. But we don't know that we are committing mistakes day in and day out. And due to that, we are not suffering. We don't want suffering. So how will you start? Then these nine diamonds with Dada Bhagwan followed 40 years of his life sincerely three times a day. And for the rest of the time, he was very vigilant and observant about what he was doing, what he was thinking, the way he was dealing with people. And whenever he went wrong, he said he corrected himself. And gradually that peak situation, that time came uh, in 1958 on a railway station where the last layer of obstacle, that wheel of ignorance just shed naturally and that inner light of God was totally open in which he saw everything mostly, he saw all his mistakes, why he suffered all these lives. Where did he go wrong? Why did he have to go and wander in those four life forms? So that was enough conviction for him and that was it. And that day onwards, he lived as divine light only, as a wise person only. And because a wise person is like a high tech, high power computer, unless someone goes to the computer and asks or does a job with that computer, he remains, the computer remains silent. That's how he remained silent for four years. And the ice was broken by his nephew and it's all started and that's how we all and the whole world got benefited by that wisdom of knowledge. The life science, the holistic science of life and living. Jai Satchidana. Jai Satchidana. So, uh... What is suffering, uh, Kush? Suffering is like when something bad kind of happens, but it's not like supposed to. Like, like something bad happens, kind of like that. Does it anything? Any time it happens to you? 
Sometimes it would happen. Okay, some, how about you? Do you suffer? Uh, sometimes when I'm in pain. Okay, so what is the solution not to suffer? Um, to never, uh, don't make mistakes. Don't make mistakes that give you pain in the first place. <laughs> you could make mistakes. There's no question. Everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes. Deepak Dada makes mistakes. But Try to make... avoid it. Ah, uh, you cannot avoid it either. Uh... If you can avoid it, you'll be uh, Dada Bhagwan. So. The suffering occurs. We know we suffer. We, we, we get angry. We get mad. We don't get good grades. We don't uh, talk properly with our parents. We talk properly with our parents. It's good part of suffering and also good part. Uh, there's suffering and also good part, right? 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 You're enjoying magic most many times. So, Dibhagana. Uh, she thinks he can avoid suffering, is it? Uh, what is the science of that? See, uh, how about uh, anything good that happens to you and you feel good, you feel nice? Is, that is not suffering, isn't it? It's like the opposite. That's what? The opposite. Opposite of what? Opposite of suffering. What is the opposite of suffering? Mm. Opposite not having pain. What? Uh, not that is suffering. Sad. That is suffering. What is not it? being. Not so like what? you're you're not sad. You're not. Uh, you okay. Know. See, this is wonderful okay. thing. What Dada has revealed over here through his Abhimanyu or holistic science that when you feel good. That feeling good doesn't remain forever. That is also temporary. That happiness is temporary or permanent? It's temporary. temporary. So he has said that happiness, unhappiness is definitely suffering. But happiness is also suffering because that happiness is not a lasting happiness. And that lasting happiness can you can acquire or you can enjoy that only when you get to know the Science of life and living. So, according to Dada Bhagwan, suffering, which is related to five sense happiness, they are all temporary. And when something is temporary, it is suffering. So, happiness is also suffering. How do you like that? You must have heard for the first time. Huh? Shil? How about Kush? Yeah. It is interesting. Yeah. So, it doesn't, it doesn't say that. You don't go after happiness. There's Wait, no I have a question. Okay. So if you're angry, it's also not temporary. So is that suffering? Because after a while, it'll go away. And you won't be angry okay. anymore. Let so us understand. Isn't that good? Let us understand. From the time you start getting angry, till that anger is over, you are not feeling good. No. Right? So, from the beginning till the end, you are not feeling good. Now, if you look at the happiness, as happiness starts, you start feeling good. But before yeah. that happiness, you are not feeling good. And when the happiness starts, you start feeling good. At the end of the happiness, which is always there, you again feel bad. Do you understand? That's yeah. why it is said it is suffering. Because it ends, whereas the bliss of pure soul, that is Shuddhatma, is permanent. Yeah. So never, never mind what it is said, you will come across happiness and unhappiness. People try to run away from unhappiness. They want to run towards happiness. There's no problem. But back of your mind, you have to understand that so there is something beyond that temporary happiness and that is bliss of your pure soul, who you are. Do you understand? Yeah. 
actual our idea or our quest our search is for that happiness which is going to last forever while enjoying the temporary happiness avoiding unhappiness we are seeking the path of permanent happiness what it means on the worldly side you come across happiness and on the spiritual side you come across lasting happiness so inside and outside both ways you are happy okay yeah so uh she'll go now this is kush you are the only guy okay uh so what the what deepak tada said there was suffering and there is happiness right yeah so well, why do we want to uh how does that help in learning dada bhagwan jnan so then we know that like happiness is temporary so we can at least try to make it untemporary but because when you're happy you can prevent bad things from happening a little bit like if you're happy and then someone makes you unhappy by telling you to do like something that you don't want to do you can just stay happy and just try to do it like in a good mood just go like okay after i'm done this i can do playing and then after you were like um stay happy for longer and that way you will be like getting closer to becoming par excellent very good very good right tipu dada very good analysis very good yeah so uh so learning the other good one then how does it help to uh well to that is bhagwan teaches us where we make mistakes nine code of conduct shows where we are mistake and if we analyze the mistake then you will move towards your happiness inner happiness all the time correct yeah so that is why you know we have put more stress on nine code of conduct and how many times you say that in the day me yeah. i say it two times once in the morning and one time in the night okay so now we are telling everybody you should do it three times do you take lunch uh yeah so during that time you should do it also okay to be for lunch yeah so you can do three times everybody i hope listening that uh we will be doing it three times Uh, uh, your kush your understanding is very really clear huh yeah no yeah you understood yeah. the deepak that very well that's very good okay so we have some few time so i want to we have introduced the uh, the that that is tool the last one was what was the last one the main um kirtan bhakti yes so i think you know the importance of kirtan bhakti chill unmute kush do you know the meaning of uh, i mean uh, why dada bhagwan gave to us to recite dada bhagwan asim uh, dekh karo it's to uh, awaken the inner god inside i think Or something. Yeah. Kind of inner peace. Kush. Yeah. Yeah, kind of the same thing she was saying. Is what? The same thing she was saying. Yeah. I cannot get it. Deepak, guys, what is Kush saying? The same thing she was saying. What did he say? He said the same thing that she was saying. Huh? Why you keep on muting yourself? Just keep it muted. The muted. same thing that she also said. What did he say, bud? He said to awaken the inner God within you. Right. You don't do the the same thing he said. You say your thing. It is more assertive. Your father has yeah. been teaching you, uh, and you you know how to sing it. Why his father insist you you sing and made you learn it? Good. 
Um, he said, he said, just do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Is that all? No. Okay. I know you want to do it. Right? What she? Sure. Uh, he, he, he said it helps me. It's going to help me focus and remember what I studied before. Uh, when my dad tells me to uh, sing Kitten Bhakti for like 10 minutes before I start studying. Okay, that's one reason. Yeah, yeah. Why? Okay, Why, Dada? Let's see. Go ahead. Um, it's not. Uh, um, Seal said that it's to um awaken the Dada Bhagwan inside us. Um, it's very it's a very similar point, but Dada Bhagwan is, is like I remember you saying in a previous satsang he never sleeps. That Dada Bhagwan never sleeps. So I think it's to open up the, like, you know, clear away the layers between us and Dada Bhagwan instead of just, you know, awakening him. Okay, very good. Even though you're feeling sick, you're calm. Very good. Thank you. But why do you want to awaken Dada Bhagwan? Why, 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 not, why not let him sleep? Why do you want to be, uh, disturb him? Because without his constant visit, vigilance, we wouldn't be able to do anything. We wouldn't be able to get, we wouldn't be able to study, we wouldn't be able to focus. Okay, that's one good answer. What else? Okay, that, 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 and uh, without him, we wouldn't be able to come, be, and without him, we wouldn't be able to become a power accident person. Okay, that's another reason. You put that Yeah, so Kirtan Bhakti. That God is always there, Dada Bhagwan, inner Dada Bhagwan never sleeps. But where is our connectivity with that inner Dada Bhagwan? So to connect ourselves with the inner Dada Bhagwan, we say the Kirtan Bhakti. And as I said, it removes all the obstacles or cloud or uh, curtains of. Uh, I will say ignorance between us and Dada Bhagwan. And when that happens, you uh, realize yourself who you are and that's how you enjoy the bliss of inner God. That is wisdom of inner knowledge, light. It is a wonderful thing. It's a direct uh, connection to do with our inner Dada Bhagavan. So if you have any problem, what are the problems? You have physical problems. I'm falling sick. How can you fall sick? You can that's fall sick, sick only when you're not eating properly. That's you're not sick. Yeah, that's right. So when you are eating, sleeping, doing all your things correctly, you will not fall sick at all. You have to find out you're going, you are going against nature somewhere or the other. That's why you fall sick. But never mind, you take medicine and get well. But back of your mind, you have to understand that somewhere you are going wrong, which is making you fall sick. So that is that. Then you have uh, problems like studying problem, you have relational problems. Uh, you have mental problem, uh, emotional problem, uh, psychological problem, anything that we call as problem which disturbs you, you can use this Kirtan Bhakti, Dada Bhagana Srim Karo, to connect yourself to that inner God and free yourself from that suffering. Enjoying the bliss of inner Dada Bhagavan. Okay. Good. Chill. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got it? You, you remove your hand from why are you keeping always like this? <laughs> I you don't ready know. To go box. Okay. You're not having fighting boxing. Okay. So uh we will uh, push. Do you know how to yeah. do Asim Dejaka, right? Yeah. Shil, how about you? Okay. So let us do 
push you five times and we repeat after you. And after that, chill uh, five times. I'm sorry. Uh, ready, man. Uh, uh, the, uh, these people are also there. Yes, we is also there. And Moksh is all also muted. there. They're all muted. That's okay, but they're there. They're there. They can do two, two, three, three times, five times. We will do, make them do five times. Are you there? Yes, we. Can you unmute yourself? Yes. <laughs> Moksh, are you there? Yeah. He's also there. And Sia, how about you? It's sleepy. You could be sleep in the. I mean, keep sleeping in the bed, but you can sit. Yeah. And about it, HC, you're sick, but you can speak, right? Uh, Good. Okay. So we'll take. Okay. Start. So we uh, we have time. I don't know how much time, but let's do five five times, everybody. Then we can do that. Yes. Kush. Dada Bhagavanna Asima Jai Jai Kare Ho. Dada Bhagavanna. Okay, okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. Listen, I I will follow because people don't follow correctly. It will be a mess. So whenever your turn comes, I'll just follow you. Okay. Okay, so we all follow in uh, in mind. Okay? In your mind. No, 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 no. You can say you can mute yourself and say. Yeah. And right. when, when your turn comes, you, you unmute, okay? I will unmute so you know that, uh, that. okay. Uh, Kush? Dada Bhagavanna Asima Jai Jai Kare Ho. Dada Bhagavanna Asima Jai Jai Kare Ho. Dada Bhagavanna Asima Jai Jai Kare Ho. Dada Bhagavanna Asi Majai Jai Karaho. Dada Bhagavanina Asi Majai Jai Karaho. Dada Bhagavanana Asi Majai Jai Karaho. Dada Bhagavanina Asi Majai Jai Karaho. Dada Bhagavanana Asi Majai Jai Karaho. Dada Bhagavanna Asi Majai Jai Kare Ho. 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 Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. And you are supposed to follow. Si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Oh da da Bhagavan na si me jai jai kar ho. Dada Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Dada Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Dada Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Dada Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Dada Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Oh da da Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. Da da Bhagavan na asi me jai jai kar ho. 
दादा भगवान ना सिम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना सिम जय जयकार हो सिया दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जयकार हो 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 दादा भगवान ना सिम 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 जय जयकार हो ओ दादा भगवान ना सिम जय जयकार हो ओ दादा भगवान ना सिम जय जयकार हो 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 ग्रेट रुवी रुवी अने भारती बेन भाई तमार कोई छोकरा हो चाहे अमित ना रुवी दादा भगवान ना सिम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना सिम जय जयकार हो दादा भगवान ना असीम जय जय कार 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 हो very good very good very good everybody dipak raja how was everybody fantastic whatever way they did very good and never mind if, i mean if you cannot uh, show up yourself but you you came for kit and bakti it's great okay very good so we'll continue with the uh, nine core of conducts and looking at our conducts but no this very good i become angry uh, club number 1 I didn't talk nicely. Column number one. I didn't it put properly. Come like that only. Okay. So you know. The short, short yeah. phrases. Yeah. Short at sentences. The, at the end of the day, write it down. So at the uh, end of next yeah. Saturday, you know, we will summarize. Well, you can see the what we want to hear. That Kush said. Okay, my main weakness is is chord number. Uh, Two or three or four, so let us work yeah. that way. So you know where the maximum weakness is for the week. Okay, yeah. 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 And then there will be less weakness, less weakness. But we focus on first two weakness. You think that? Yeah. Just imagine we have said that the inner Dada Bhagwan never sleeps, but in that divine light of pure soul, we are committing mistakes. 
and we are not even seeing, acknowledging, or correcting ourselves. Isn't that a very big mistake? Yeah. So this is where we want to use the light of the inner God to identify, recognize our mistake, correct them, and free ourselves from its effects, that is, negative effects. Yeah. Got it? Really, yeah. negative effect is misery, uh, like uh, uh, miserable, you know, not okay. feeling good. Uh, that is what we want to minimize. Right, Tipu Dada? Correct, absolutely. Nobody likes suffering, that suffering, unpleasant suffering. Okay, so let's yeah. see. Let's see, can you put up, uh, since uh, the test is not there, can you put up the homework, please? Okay, but what was the homework? Why did you go wrong with each code of conduct? The case right. is look at code of conduct where you are missing code of conduct all day okay. for seven days. Just write phrases okay. and which code of conduct you are missing. So at the end of the week, you can summarize which is your maximum weakness, second weakness, third weakness. Okay? Okay. okay. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Etsy. I hope you okay. feel better soon. Deepak Dada, can you do yeah. three mantra? Yeah. Jai Shri Anand. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Loe Savva Sahunam. Namo Loe Savva Sahunam. Eso Panchanamukkaro. Eso Panchanamukkaro. Tawa Pava Panasano. So Mangalanam to so is him. Mangalanam to so is him. Padamam Hawaii Mangalam. Padamam Parmam Hawaii Mangalam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai. Om Namashivai. Oh, Namashiva. Namashiva. Jai Satchidanan. Jai, Jai Satchidanan.